Thanks for tuning in to TheLoneWolf.com. My name is Drew, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fox Pro Frame Helmet. Now, this is a $259 helmet that you could probably find cheaper on sale if you look around, um, but it's been uh, passed around to several guys in our group so far in the last couple of months, and we've been uh, very fortunate to not have to test the impact capabilities of it, um, but have had a lot of fun putting some time in climbing, descending, just getting out for regular trail rides um, over the last couple of months. So before we kind of get into our input uh, feedbacks, some criticisms, um, we'll highlight some of the features and the technology you can find in this helmet. So the Pro Frame weighs 750 grams in this size medium. It uh, does have a MIPS liner, which is going to help mitigate some of the uh, rotational forces during an impact. Um, it is also ASTM DH certified, and Fox builds the helmet with a their dual density Verisorb EPS system. So uh, basically there's a uh, dual density EPS foam that they use throughout the helmet. <clears throat> and the idea with that is to help disperse the loads and forces from an impact throughout the helmet better. The helmet has 24 vents. There are 15 intake vents and nine exhaust ports. There's a antimicrobial treated padding on the inside of the liner here, which you can easily wash um, and take out. The helmet does not have any sort of a, uh, you know, a, a knob or adjustment system at the back to tighten it up. Instead, it relies more like a, a DH helmet on cheek pad and uh, inner pad sizing to get the fit just right. <clears throat> I, did cut, um, I did swap out the cheek pads on this helmet and went with something a little bit thicker and got this helmet to feel very snug and tight on my face. Some other riders, you know, with a, a larger or thinner face might want to do some playing around with the padding in the helmet to get it more secure. Um, but again, it was something that, that uh, I found to be really beneficial having those adjustable pads with the helmet. <clears throat> also to, to note would be if you can try this helmet on before you make a purchase, you should try to do that because you can't just, you know, rotate you know, their system like you might have on a trail helmet and get it snugged up. It will be purely relied upon by the pads inside the lid. So the ventilation is great on this helmet. Um, you know, it's winter in Central Oregon, so it's been pretty cold for the most part. Uh, we have put a solid amount of climbing in, uh, primarily on an e-bike, but we're still out there getting a lot of miles in. We've done some climbing on some trail bikes. It's been a great helmet for the winter. It's helped obviously keep our ears and the side of our face is very warm as the temperatures are down in the uh, 30s and 40s. Uh, it's not going to be the coolest helmet in the summer, but again, it is a pedal friendly full face helmet, so it's not going to compare to an open face, you know, half shell helmet. <clears throat> the upside to that is you get a lot more protection, a lot more safety in the event of uh, crashing at higher speeds going downhill. One of our biggest critiques out of this helmet is the fixed visor. So there is no adjustability here in the visor. That's something that you know may not bug some people. For us, it was a, a pretty big deal, honestly. Um, you know, we've got some short, punchy climbs where you might finish a downhill, and, and rather than take your goggles all the way off or spin them around the back, you just want to lift them up and put them here for the short climb before your next downhill. And without being able to lift this visor up, the goggles would sometimes hang on and sometimes they'd come slapping down and you know bonk us right in the bridge of the nose which was uh, a little frustrating depending on how tired you were on your climb um, <clears throat> so you know the goggle thing was an issue if you are riding into the sun you know depending on where you ride if you're riding a lot of west facing trails at sunset not being able to lower that visor is definitely an issue um, which was for us so that's something that Fox <clears throat> incorporates on a lot of their full face helmets from moto to downhill to this, you know, pro frame. So could be an issue. It's definitely worth taking note in. Uh, it's something that that is a, a really a big issue for us in our opinion. <clears throat> so comfort of the helmet. It's uh, a pretty easy helmet to put on the, the straps here. It kind of takes a little bit of time to get used to how they go back behind the cheek pads here. But once you get those straps pulled back, the helmet goes on easily just like a DH helmet, you kind of then will have to get these straps in the right place around the cheek pads. But once it's in, this Fidlock closure system, super easy to use with or without gloves. Um, I mean, you can even undo it with one hand, but 
super nice, very secure once you get it all adjusted. Um, big intake port here, you can squeeze water. If you're at the top of the climb, you know, need to hawk a loogie, um, get some breath, fresh air. This is a great breathable helmet. You get nice airflow here over the eyebrows. Um, doesn't let a ton of air in here down around the cheeks or ears, which has been great for keeping our, our ears warm in the winter. But again, not a very bulbous, big look. It's slim, it fits well, nice and secure. Um, overall, really comfortable helmet. We've been out for, for multi-hour rides and um, really enjoyed the way that the helmet feels on our heads. So where does the pro frame stack up? <clears throat> In terms of pedal-friendly full-face helmets, uh, it's definitely high on our list. We haven't ridden a ton. However, the few that we have ridden, um, you know, the pro frame is definitely up there in terms of comfort. It's a pretty light option. It's not as light as the IXS trigger. Um, again, this one is 750 grams. The trigger weighs in at 660 grams in a size medium. So, you know, it's a significant amount, but this is definitely not a, a heavy helmet. It's not something that we felt um, <clears throat> even if we were out on longer days pedaling, climbing. The downside is the visor. Um, that's kind of going to be the big thing for us. We were lucky enough that we were able to adjust the cheek pads and uh, the pads here at the back of the neck and get this helmet to fit really well. If it doesn't fit you very well, you know you might be out of luck because there's no other way to adjust the fit or security of this helmet once it's on. So I would suggest you try it on. Um, they do ship the helmet again with a couple of pad sizes and thicknesses, so you, most people should be able to get it dialed in, um, which really brings us back to the visor being the big downside of this helmet. Um, and it's big enough to where we really got to ding it pretty significantly, I think, um, just in the practicality and function. Um, if we're going to go out in the afternoons and, and going to be riding some of our favorite test trails where we're regularly climbing and descending quickly, and facing you know, the sunset, <clears throat> we're gonna choose our IXS trigger because I can lower the visor for the sun and I can get out of the way to store my goggles. But going back to comfort, it is definitely one of the most comfortable, well-fitting and uh, snug and secure feeling helmets that we've been in. So if you're looking for a pedal friendly, full face helmet, definitely worth checking the Fox Pro Frame out. Um, you can find some really good deals online if you do some searching around so, you know, definitely check this thing out. If you can try one on, we'd suggest you do so. Um, but overall, solid helmet, thumbs up. We've been uh, really happy to ride it so far, and, and we will continue to put some time in this helmet and ride it. Um, you know, we're, we're definitely not going to bury it in our gear bag. So, um, you know, it, it, as a testament to how much we like it, you know, this thing will still be out getting dirty. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions on this helmet, if you've got a helmet that you like better, you think we should check out, leave a comment down below. Be sure to uh, like, give us a thumbs up, and a subscribe if you found any value in this video. And we hope to see you guys out on the trails. Thanks.